Right, got a call to this tank because the um, milk tanker drivers um, turned the paddle on to uh, stir the milk up so they can take a sample. There's been a bit of a bang and some smoke and he's got a bit of a shock off of the uh, control panel. And um, let's come from here. You can actually see daylight. If you get in the right place. There you go. Um, it's had a damage done to the cable in the past by the look of it and it's been um, joined back up and heat shrunk. Uh, it appears there's probably got some moisture in there and it's all shorted out, probably shorted out to the earth. So I think you've got live in, live out on earth to the um, badatherm. So uh, yeah, let's see what we can do with this. That's the old control box, um, Alpha Laval. Um, on off and then you've got automatic and manual so you can turn the thing on and off on that one and then you either run it permanently on or off the thermostat uh, two minute timer button on the side for a stir so you might want to push that in and got a zap off of that another box on the side here that would have done the compressors two overloads All right, we've got the cover off of that. Um, that's that cable. It's really uh, cooked it. So uh, we've took the cover off. Um, the dial and the uh, little needles, they come off the center. Um, new earth um, connection, then we've just crimped those on there. I can't see that being a problem in there. There's no, no real movement in there and it's sealed. It's got a gasket on there, so nip that up. And then we'll wire that into here. Um, I'm going to have to put some water in the tank and measure the temperature and then put the needle back on in the right place otherwise it will be the wrong temperature. Um, that's the control box here. You've got a, uh, it's probably a two minute timer once an hour to keep the milk mixed up. Another two minute timer then you can push a button in here. It's seized, seized up. Um, and that, um, Stirs the milk up so they can take a sample. Uh, you've got a contactor there, which will probably do the water pump and the agitator. Um, thermal overload there is probably on the water pump. Your terminal box, two toggle switches, and your neon lights to let you know what it's all doing. Uh, quite simple, really. Sort of 1950s technology. Use a uh, 2BA thread on these old boxes. Um, both the screws had rusted, well, one, one was not even in the thread, and the other one had rusted in. I had to get the vice grips on it. So I've got two new screws, and I thought I'd uh, run a tap down the threads and get the rust out while we're here. It's always worth having a few um, taps, uh, various sizes, just in case. We've got that back together and the cable wired in. Um, new cable, brand new screws. Um, I've left enough on there so that we can we can coil it out, and there's enough hopefully left. If you need to take this out to clean it, you can take it out with a wire out and wire it. Um, they would have had a waterproof plug on there originally, so you could take this out and clean it. Same on the motor, just got a plug on them. Um, anyway, I've turned it on. It shouldn't be running now because that's then it's cold, but it's actually this this timer here. I just traced it to that. That's your two minutes stir every half an hour or every hour. drops that contactor out. So we'll have to wait for that to go round and then we, then we can check the thermostat. The power for the thermostat comes off, comes into the switch in the centre. 
comes out on that wire, lights up the green light, should be on, tells you it's on, power's on, and that puts power up to here, which is the thermostat feed, also comes up this little timer, comes off of that time, um, timer and goes onto the coil, or it can go up the thermostat wire, return from the thermostat wire and then go to the coil. So either that or the stat can bring the contactor in. Um, and there'll also be, there we go, a manual on there from that switch. As well, on the, on the blue wires. Turn him around slowly. Right, that's that off. So in theory. Just need to check the temperature on that, and then we'll if we have to adjust the temperature, we might have to adjust the set point. But uh, we can put the, put the lid back on that now.